You talk about getting in trouble. You're talking about opening up a hornet's nest. You talk about getting in trouble. You talk about getting in trouble. Read my comments. Look, all I do is work for God, ladies and gentlemen. All I do is work for God. And all I do in this capacity as God's ambassador, God's spokesman, God's prophet, even God's lawyer, he's done nothing wrong, but speaking for God, his representative. All I do is say, thus saith the Lord. I just give the burden of the Lord for America. I just say, here's what God says. Here is the word of God. And deal with it. And then it's between you and God. You know, a wise person once said, you can stop talking to God, but God will never stop talking to you. And you can't win an argument with God, though many have tried. I said what God told me to say. Responding to the strong delusion that exists and the great deception in the apostasy of the spiritual dark age. One has come claiming to be of Jesus Christ. One says, if you put me back in the presidency by whatever means, I can save America. That's what he says. Let's judge. Let's use reason and logic and make a judgment and make a deduction based on reason. Anyone who would say, I can save America, or I can make America great again, or keep America great. Who also is against all that Jesus Christ is for, and for all that Jesus Christ is against. Who else could dare make that statement than Antichrist himself? I just finished a series, some of y'all watched it, some of y'all didn't, on YouTube and on TikTok about the Antichrist, Beast, False Prophet, and 666. And in that, there were 116, that's right, 116 biblical traits, qualifications, and characteristics of the Antichrist. And without political leanings one way or the other, I just looked at it, and I said, who either has fulfilled, can fulfill, or will fulfill all of them? And I ruled out Macron, and Putin and Zelensky and Obama.